massive relief for Durai Daya Nidhi Alagiri. The Madras High Court has quashed the warrant issued against him. The Madras High Court has also granted anticipatory bail to Alagiri's son. And uh, we've got Dhania on the phone with us giving us more details on this. Yes, Dhania. Well, uh, what we know is that the Madras High Court, which is in fact uh, hearing an anticipatory bail petition filed by Durai Dayanadi, uh, who is the son of Union Minister Alagiri, has finally got the anticipatory bail. Now, Durai Dayanadi has been on the run for quite some months. Uh, this after he was named uh, in a case in FR rather on the granite mining scam in Madurai for almost three to four months now. He's been trying to escape uh, uh, the police as there were teams constituted by the Tamil Nadu police to arrest Alagiri's son, Doe Dayanadi. He had approached the court more than once. His anticipatory bail was first rejected by a lower court and it went to the high court. And finally, he got released now with the uh, Madras High Court giving him anticipatory bail. In fact, the high court some weeks ago had told the police to keep the affair in a bail till the anticipatory bail is uh, a uh, bail plea is decided upon. So this, of course, comes as a huge relief for Diana the Alagri and also for the uh, entire Karnandi family. As for many months now, a union minister's son has practically been on the run, adding a uh, huge embarrassment to the family. Now, Danya, even though he's got the anticipatory bail, clearly the Madurai police is not going to wind up the investigation. So what happens, uh, as you say, he is still very much on the run? Well, uh, the investigation will go on. In fact, one of the companies in which Gure Dayanji was a part of has also been named in the Granite scam. Now, this is a scam which is almost uh, worth 16,000 crores. That is the first estimate. A lot of companies have been named as part of uh, these companies, which have, in fact, illegally uh, mined granite uh, in the Madurai area of Tamil Nadu. Gure Dayanji's company was one such company. So obviously the case will go on, and there are very strong grounds on which the case is based upon. In fact, one of the former collectors of Madre was the whistleblower as far as this case is concerned. So the case will go on, but as of now, some relief for Dere Dayanadi as he can stop being on the run. He's got anticipatory bail, but that does not mean it's the end of the case. He will have to appear before the police whenever there is questioning regarding the granite scam.